hello everyone welcome back to the software testing tips and tricks channel so in this video we will talk about how to create sprint boards using the Zira. so using the Zira, you can create a board for your daily stand up and scrums so this board can uh, work for entire sprint and uh, you can track all the issues the employees are working on and uh, you can manage a status of the issues and you can know like how much sprint is going on and how much you are burning points so this way it will be very helpful so in this video i will talk about how to create this board uh, what all things you can do with that and uh, also we will talk about how to create sprints and how to manage that how to complete sprint how to start sprint so those things we will cover in this video so please watch this video till the end and don't forget to subscribe this channel and please like this video let's start you need to create is first uh, we need to create uh, one project so in the project tab, uh, if uh, you don't have any project, you need, need to create that or you are starting new project, you can create one project. But uh, in most of the companies, you directly have this project. So you can uh, just uh, use that. So we are doing Scrum. So we are, I am using Scrum board and I am using this template. <coughs> and uh, I am select team manage project and I am giving project name software testing tips and tricks so this is my project i am giving access to all and key key is the thing like whatever the issues you create it will put this prefix uh, before that like a uh, bug is there then qb or something you are using right so sttt i am using for this because i already using this software stt i am using for this now <clears throat> next so it will create one project from the scratch then I will uh, uh, show you how you can manage your sprint so currently it is showing like you don't have anything in the board and uh, you can go to backlog so in backlog also I don't have anything so we need to create few issues in the backlog so let's say our project is to create login page so create login page UI so I am uh, creating this quickly so that we don't waste uh, more time but uh, uh, you can uh, most of the issues are created from here and it will be divided in stars stories and uh, bugs and other ways but I am simply creating uh, quick uh, Jira task so that uh, we can use that page back and create test login page we need to test it right <clears throat> and uh, we need to automate it then let's say we have one more page say create product page UI then create uh, product page back backend test product page automate product page and let's say test full regression so let's say we have some this kind of task so these are my in backlog so first of all i need to start a print or create a print so it, here you can see here one sprint is already created when i create the project but let's create a from fresh so I am creating sprint this sprint 2 is created so now I am uh, adding this my task I all the tasks I am doing in the sprint 2 so sprint is something who, those who know uh, don't know in agile we divide the timeline into sprints some companies follows for one week some company follows for two weeks some follows for four weeks but uh, in this week we decide like what all tasks we are want to do so entire project is divided into sprints so these are the sprints so now you can start sprint so i am giving the sprint two name only this is my two week sprint and uh, it has started already uh, i am uh, let's say i am starting today only and it will put uh, two weeks date automatically and we can put the goal like what we want to achieve and i can start it so now my sprint is started and you can see all the issues are here so let's say these are already in progress create login page UI and backend and also testing is progress and uh, 
full regression is already done so we can do this and uh, i didn't assign this to anyone so let's uh, we need to assign this to other people also this task so i am assigning to myself this automates yeah i can do automation <laughs> you can assign we don't have here quick link but i am assigning few so you, that you can know like uh, i am assigning to person a and uh, this product i am assigning to <coughs> michel and uh, create product page ui also i am assigning to michel so some of the task uh, all tasks are assigned and some of are unassigned so we can decide whom to assign so test login page also i am assigning to myself and uh, that is already in progress and automatic automation of uh, everything I, I am doing so i am assigning to myself so this way you can assign it to different people so here like uh, in your daily scrum what we need to do is like uh, we give the status so for example today i am giving my status so i can you can select this scrum master can select this and based on that i can get only my issues here in this filter so it is it, it has automatically applied that so we are saying i have three tasks i can see like i started test login page and i found this box and this issue i will start tomorrow or today and based on that we can drag and drop and change the pro progress of the task so automation i am starting parallelly so i can put into in progress and if i am done with test login page i can complete to done so this way i can we can move it around also we can have more columns based on our uh, uh, jira uh, status like to do in progress done so in between like in verification ready for verification those status also you can put here so for that uh, in options if you go and manage workflow so in manage workflow it allows you to create more process for your jira project so if you your company has already created the workflow so you will see all the status that has created and you can uh, create the columns according to that so most of the companies have this in verification and uh, ready for verification status so i am in wrong project we have created this software testing tips and tricks so now what other thing you can do is from here you can select group by assign so now it looks very meaningful right so i can see like uh, what is this i have what is this a have what is this michael have uh, and what are the unassigned issues so you can also filter out from here based on the whose turn is stand up and also you can see all issues based on this <coughs> now from more options what you can do is edit sprint so in edit sprint you can change the date or something if it is it has changed now manage custom filters so you can create filter as well so for example high priority issues So whatever the high priority issues, if you want to track it separately, then for example, priority in, I can say high and highest. So high and highest priority one can be tracked separately. So I have created this one. Now if I go to project and board, here I can see custom filter and from there I can put which are the high priority issues I have. I don't have any issues that are in high priority. So it won't show anything. But if we change the priority of some page like uh, create product page UI is in high priority then we can change the priority and based on that I don't have this configured details configured we need to configure that priority and all. Yeah that will be fine I think. and now if you go here and uh, if you do in configure board then you can configure this like uh, what are the issues that are uh, uh, un unassigned you can put into here and some issues you can set here so you can configure like this and mostly this board is like currently whatever the ui we are showing is kind of configure only
other thing you can do is add to starter that will uh, added in the favorite list and uh, if you share it you can share this link to whatever uh, people that are uh, want to look this board and uh, you can automate as well so if you click on automation so if for this you need to know jira automation but uh, if uh, you have idea you can create automation and based on that uh, it will change the status automatically so like you put a triggers like when you want to trigger some things so when priority changes or something changes like you want to trigger that it will do automatically you don't have to do manually so you can create a jira automations here now in insights is also very useful tab so when you click click on insights so insights you can see like uh, issues for attention what are the issues are for attention like if some deadline is going on or high a, which has high story point and is not getting updated you can check that also how it is your sprint is pro progressing that also you can get the insights and also you can see how many story points you are burning currently i didn't assign any story point here but you can assign story points and uh, based on that you can see like how much story point are burning and how many are remaining so that will be very helpful for you also you can uh, edit this and make sure like whatever insights you want to see you can enable that and whatever you don't want to see you can uh, disable it and from here like you can set that uh, like open issues in sidebar work suggestion this is all like expand all if you don't want to collapse all these things you can do for these settings this board settings so i have covered most of the things for the sprints now uh, if see like uh, we are completed the sprint so we can see like complete the sprint and once you see like uh, my some of these are not created some of this so i can say like sprint 2 is complete and where i want to move my issues whichever are not completed so if i want to move it to new sprint i can move it to new sprint or i can backlog it so mostly most of the companies move it to new sprint because like we are <laughs> already doing uh, new sprint right anyway so it will be moved to new sprint and we can complete it so if you see here my sprint is completed and then uh, all this is i move to here now i can start sprint again so this is how it will work like this video and share it to your friend feel free to put any comments if you have any doubts feel free to ask in the comment section also you can join our social media links are provided in the description thank you